let us discuss different types of mechanical waves. We can say mechanical waves are classified in two categories. The first one is the transverse waves. The second one is longitudinal waves. The basic difference in the two kind of mechanical waves is the direction of oscillations with respect to the flow of energy. When we talk about transverse waves, in transverse wave, the oscillation of medium particles are perpendicular to the direction of energy flow. We can say if there is an oscillator which supplies energy in this direction, the medium particles through which the energy is carried away will continuously oscillate in the direction perpendicular to the direction of energy flow. I think you are also aware about uh, such kind of waves which are uh, waves in a string and the waves on uh, surface of water. These are the waves in which we can say the oscillation of medium particle is perpendicular to a flow of energy. When we talk about longitudinal waves, longitudinal waves are those in which oscillations of medium particles are parallel to energy flow. Direction like if an oscillator is producing wave in a specific direction, the medium particle oscillate in the same direction along which the energy is flowing. This because in longitudinal waves energy flow takes place due to continuous collision of medium particles starting from oscillator. When oscillator oscillates, it supplies energy to the next medium particle due to collisions and so on, the energy is propagated. So, such kind of waves, the, the most common example is sound waves in which in air medium particles collide and carry energy from one place to another or sound propagates from one place to another. Uh, you should also keep in mind that uh, longitudinal waves can exist in all kind of media. We can write here it is. Uh, and all types of media longitudinal waves can exist, but when we talk about transverse wave, uh, these are generally not in uh, three dimensional media because uh, if transverse wave exists in three dimensional media, that means medium particle exists above or below of uh, these medium particles, then due to collision of the medium particle with those which are above and below of this particle, will carry energy and uh, no energy transfer will take place in a specific direction. So, indirectly we can say transverse wave will have its uh, branching of longitudinal waves also. That is when three dimensional media in general transverse wave can never exist or more precisely we can say a specific wave can exist which are having very small amplitude so that uh, these particles will not collide with the particles above or below of the medium in which a transverse wave exists. So, you should keep in general in mind that longitudinal waves can exist in all type of media and transverse wave can exist generally in one dimensional or two dimensional media like in a string or a surface, not in three dimensional media. Let us discuss about a specific wave termed as a plane progressive wave. A plane progressive wave can be transverse or longitudinal and we can say it is a wave which has constant amplitude frequency and velocity throughout 
is termed as a plane progressive wave. It is a wave which has constant amplitude, frequency and velocity throughout when a wave is generated from a source and after a generation throughout till it propagates its amplitude everywhere is same, frequency is a constant and it travels at a constant speed v. That means the medium must be uniform in which it is propagating. And this wave is termed as a plane progressive wave. And it is also specified in a different way when in a plane progressive wave, medium particles execute SHM. Then it is also termed as simple harmonic wave. In most of the situation, simple harmonic wave is just termed as plane progressive wave or the situation when wave propagation takes place by execution of SHM of medium particle, it is termed as plane progressive wave. Whereas simple harmonic wave is, I feel, the more appropriate term for such a wave in which medium particle executes simple harmonic motion. When we talk about a simple generation of a simple harmonic wave, we can have various different cases. Let's discuss in detail. In sequence, if we just discuss about the generation of a simple harmonic wave in a stretched string, this concept will make the basic phenomena about simple harmonic waves clear to you. So, we are having a stretched string placed along x axis and at origin of the coordinate system, we place an oscillator which oscillates simple harmonically with amplitude a in y direction. We know well that if one end of a string is oscillated, waves are generated and the wave is started propagating along the length of the string. See the wave is propagating at a speed v which depends on the properties of a string as here a string is the medium in which the energy is propagating. And in this situation along with the flow of energy, particles of a string will oscillate up and down with amplitude a. And here we can state when the wave starts oscillating at t equal to zero, the oscillator will start oscillating in a simple harmonic motion say with the displacement from mean position given as a sine of omega t. The medium particle will oscillate and it will move forward. Here we can say in one oscillation when it goes up and comes down, this is the distance which the wave is traveling in one oscillation of the oscillator. So, this is the distance traveled by the wave during one oscillation it is termed as wavelength of the wave which I think you might have studied in your early classes also. And here wavelength lambda can be given as wave speed multiplied by the time period of oscillation which can be written as v multiplied by reciprocal of frequency. So, wave speed can also be termed as v is equals to n lambda. This is also quite useful relation and I hope in your junior classes you have studied about this relation and you might have handled some numericals based on this.